Hi, it's Liam from Muscle Doctor, and I've got a 10 minute stretch and mobility routine for you. Here I'm using the Warrior 2 yoga mat from physique.co.uk. Let's go. So beginning with a hip flexor stretch, we're gonna start on the left knee, right foot forwards, lunging forwards until we feel a six out of 10 stretch in this left hip, upper body upright, deep breaths there, try and relax into the position. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, see if you can lunge a bit further down into the stretch. No more than a six out of 10, try and keep the upper body upright, looking for a stretch in the front of the left hip. If the upper body is upright, you may feel it into the abdomen and into the psoas major as well. Okay, dropping the right hand down to the floor, we're gonna bring the left hand to the floor and then open out that left side and come back down. So we're working through the left side, trying to open out, get some side bend movement in there to really target the psoas, the deepest, biggest, most powerful hip flexor. And with each rep, we're trying to increase on that range of motion. Last one. Good, and back into that hip flexor stretch for a six out of 10 on this left side. Okay, and then slowly ease back to the start position, hop this right leg forward, heel dug into the floor, toes pointing up, hinging forward from the hips until we feel a stretch on that right hamstring. And then when we're okay there, we're gonna drop the foot down, step it forwards into a hip flexor stretch, and then back into that hamstring stretch. So we can alternate from one to the other, creating a nice flow from hamstring stretch on the right, to hip flexor stretch on the left, just make sure that you feel it at the end of each. Okay, last one, and let's swap sides. So onto the right knee, left foot forwards, slowly dropping into that hip flexor stretch. Six out of 10 max on the perceived stretch scale. Deep breaths there, trying to allow things to relax. Deep breath in, breathe out, relax. Drop further into the stretch, make sure the upper body's upright. Okay, bring the left hand down to the floor, right hand down to the floor, and then palm up to the ceiling, opening out the right side and coming back down. One more rep. Okay, back into that hip flexor stretch. Last few seconds here. Okay, back to start position. Hop that left foot forwards, heel dug into the floor, toes pointing up, and lunge forwards into this stretch. And then we're stepping the foot down into that hip flexor stretch on the right, back up to the hamstring stretch on the left. Make sure you feel it, don't rush it. Foot back down, creating a nice flow there between the two. Last rep. Okay, both knees down. Let's go into child's pose. So palms on the floor, dropping the bum down. Try and grip the floor with your palms. The traction that you create will give you a good lat stretch as the lower body moves backwards. Tuck the chin into the chest. Okay, let's walk that right hand around the clock. We're gonna go from 12 around to nine. So to give some side bend to the spine, drop the head down to the floor. Try and reach out in the direction the hand's pointing, walking the fingers along the floor to get some more traction with the arm. And back to that start position, child's pose for a reset. And now we can repeat with the left arm Walking the left hand around the clock. Go from 12 around to three. Get the elbow down into the floor. Head down to the floor, into the elbow crease. And hold there. Any discomfort in the shoulder, just reduce the angle that you've got the arm at. And then walk the arm back around. Reset with the child's pose. And then we're gonna go into a sphinx. So face down, 
palms to the floor, fingertips level with the top of your head, and then we extend the elbows and then back again. So just make sure this is a momentary stretch. We're not going to hold this for any length of time. More mobilization for the lower spine and the stretch for the abdominals. Last one. Okay, bring the arms back. Drop into child's pose. And from there, what we can do is create a nice flow like we did on the previous movement, where we can allow the hips just to kiss the floor and then come back up again. Make sure you're in control of the arms the whole way. Last one. Okay, so lying on the floor. Arms out to the side and knees up. So drop the knees down and then bring them back up. You can think of this as a kind of core exercise, although the aim is to mobilize the lumbar spine and hips. We do need to be in control of the movement from start to finish and not rely on momentum. And as you start to warm up into the rotation, you can actively start to drive those knees down into the floor, creating a 90 degree separation between lower and upper body. Okay, let's finish with knees on the left side, and then we're gonna fix the legs there, go completely side on with the lower body, so some repositioning maybe, and then let's reach across with the upper body. Hopefully you've got more space here than I have. You can really reach that arm and get the shoulder blade around the rib cage and then come back into the open book position again. And let's just repeat that. Each time we reach with the arm, we're just aiming to get a bit further and a bit further. Last one. Okay, arms out to the side. Let's do some more spine twists. And this time we're gonna finish those with the knees down on the right side. Again, reposition those hips. Get yourself square onto the floor. And then reaching across with this left arm. Try and get that shoulder blade around the ribcage. And back, try and keep those knees fixed together. Lower leg fixed to the floor. Aiming to reach further each time. Okay, last one now. So remaining on our back, we're gonna cross the left leg over the right, outside of the left ankle, just above right knee. Pass the fingers together behind the right knee, and then we'll use that grip on the right leg to pull the left glute into a stretch. Find your six out of 10, hold that there, your aim at this point is to relax into the stretch. This is a static stretch. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, see if you can bring that leg further in. And we're gonna hold that there for 10 seconds now until the end of this stretch. So pace yourself accordingly. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop that left leg down. Keep the right leg as it is. And we can include some hamstring extenders there. After the first few reps, let's start to point the toes up towards your face, incorporating all the connective tissue on the back of the leg. Okay, so swap sides now. We're gonna go right leg over left. Fingers clasped together behind left knee, bringing that left knee into the chest, holding that position, relaxing into it, feeling the stretch on the right side, no more than a six out of 10. Deep breath in, breathe out, relax, see if you can bring that knee in closer. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lower that leg down. Keep the hands where they are, keeping the ankle relaxed. Let's go for three repetitions as they are with the ankle relaxed. And then when things start to feel like they're warming up, we can then include some ankle dorsiflexion, pointing the toes, up towards your head as you get to the top of the movement. Let's go for three more repetitions. Two, one. 
I hope you've enjoyed that 10 minute mobility and stretch routine from me, Liam Coffey of Muscle Doctor Oxford. If you'd like a shorter routine, there's also a five minute stretch and mobility routine on my YouTube channel.